Hi, I'm Cindy Lynn. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're able to join us. I can't wait to show you our line of Cindy Lynn's rubs and more. They'll make your food delicious. I think you're gonna really enjoy them. Hi, Mark here from Cindy Lynn's rubs and more. Today we're doing something a little different. We're not gonna use the old smoker grill outside. We're gonna use the crock pot. Yeah, the slow cooker. We've got a two to three pound piece of corned beef. We've got a head of cabbage, two tablespoons of garlic, Cindy Lynn's big kahuna, that nice rich pineapple taste. We've got a cup of water. We've got a carton of orange juice, carrots, potatoes, and an onion. This is simple, easy. To start with, we have let our corned beef come to room temperature and we have rinsed it off so as it sits, some of that uh, grime and fat washes off and the salt. So we've got our crock pot. We put our liner in the crock pot. If you don't have a liner for easy cleanup, you could just spray it with some Pam or olive oil. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've peeled my carrots. I'm gonna chop them. As you can see, they're about an inch to an inch and a half long because I want to build a base so the corned beef sets above the liquid a little bit. We've already washed our potatoes. Some people like to slice them. I do not. I like to leave them whole. Due to the fact it's a long cook, they'll be much better and a little harder and tastier. Okay, we've got an onion. Very simple. No tears. All I'm going to do is quarter it and then cut it in half again so my halves are quartered. So I've got my corned beef here. I'm going to do a light sprinkle. Not as much as I would do if I were doing it uh, for a uh, smoke or a long cook, but for a crock pot, all I'm trying to do is flavor the meat a little bit, get it up high without making a mess. And I'm gonna put a little bit in there for some seasoning. I'm gonna put my meat in fat side down. Going to add the garlic. Give it a little bit of white. Now we're going to take the orange juice. We're going to put it in and we're going to add a cup of water. I'm going to pour it over the orange juice to defrost it a little bit. And we place our cover on. I'm going to set it on high for five hours. And then I'm going to add my cabbage and cook for another hour. Thank you, and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, we're back. So I'm gonna take the cabbage out. Oh, looks good. Smells even better. Okay, the cabbage is out. Oh, beautiful. We've let it rest for a half hour, and now we're ready to plate. Carrots, some onions, a little piece of cabbage, and there you have it a beautiful piece of corned beef, cabbage, onions carrots, and potatoes. And don't forget, it was all made with big kahuna. Cindy Lynn's Rubs and More. Bring on the flavor with Cindy Lynn's Rubs and More.